Here's the Samsung Freestyle Projector. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Now really quickly out of the box you get the user manual and some other pamphlets as well. You get a wall adapter. You also get the power cable here. It, it's a USB-C to USB-C. And of course the other end we plug that into our wall adapter and plug that into the outlet. We got the remote here. If you look on the bottom here is a USB charging port here as well. And on the remote you can see the volume um, up and down as well as the channel. If you want to go up, you want to press up. Okay, if you just press it like that, it's going to mute and unmute. Okay, volume up, volume down, you want to press up or down on the button. Now with the projector, you have a lens cover here. We can just go ahead and pull that off. You can see in the front here, we have the power button, volume up and down. And we have this here for mobile. And with the mobile, you can directly connect to the SmartThings app on your mobile device. So you can always turn the projector off from here or using the remote itself. Of course you have a cradle here, so you can move this up and down. If you want to watch up the ceiling, just put it up just like that. And on the side right here, we have a mic button. You can mute it or you can turn it on. There's a micro HDMI port and here is the USB-C power port, okay? So the first thing is this. What we're going to do is make sure you plug this into your wall adapter. And then this side here, we're going to go ahead and plug this into the charging port there and I'm going to put this into my wall outlet and it should, as soon as you plug it in it should turn on automatically if not go ahead and press on the power button on the remote okay so this is the first page here your remote should already be paired automatically so from here we're going to go down and choose our language I'm going to go with English here it says hello click on two simple select options. or okay on how the would remote. you like to get started now we have two options for setup, okay? We can do a smartphone, which is quick and easy, or we can do just using everything with the remote control, step by step. I'd rather just do the remote control so all of you can see that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the right. I'm gonna select that, remote control. I'm gonna connect to my home Wi-Fi network. There it is right there. Also take note that you can connect this projector to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone if you're camping or whatnot as well. Anyway, so I'm just, putting in my password to my home Wi-Fi network here. After you put in your password, you want to go down to where it says go. Right there, go. Click on OK on the remote. All right, still proceeding here. Smart Hub terms and conditions and privacy notice and so on. You can go ahead and read through all these if you wish here. And then if you agree, go ahead and click those. And then or select down there, I agree to all and click on OK to proceed. Checking for updates. There are no updates for me right now, but there's probably an update for you. When I first got it and I set it up, I did have to do an update and it took like a good like 10, 15 minutes just for the update. Sign into your Samsung account to enjoy a range of services. Okay, so we have three things that we can do here. Okay, so first one is you can, if you already have an existing account, you can sign in there or you can go ahead and create a new account right now if you wish. Or you can go ahead and skip it and sign in, uh, do it later, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and sign in later. So I'm going to skip. So how do you skip? Just grab the remote on the and tap on the right side like that. It's just going to skip right there. Projector setup summary. Everything looks good here. I'm going to go down there. Just click on got it. Use your voice to get what you want. Select a voice assistant to help you. And it says select now here. You can use Bixby or you can uh, do Amazon Alexa or you don't have to do either or you can go ahead and just click on later and set it up later as well. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do my Amazon Alexa later. You can go ahead and read through this and then you can just go down to where it says skip. Alright, so it looks like we're in business here. And pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right? Good luck, guys.